In this video, we are going to see how to add items to monday.com with drop down menu using Pabli Connect. Let's say that you want to create an item on monday.com which is a project management software and here you want that one particular field has to have drop down. Basically, let's say that you are creating a task and it has got different status. So you want that to be specified on monday.com using drop down menu. Now the same details have been specified in your form builder application here we have taken the example of short form and now you want that every time there is a new submission then automatically this item should be created and that particular label like any label from that drop down should be added here. How can you do that? For this you will have to first integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So here your trigger application will be JotForm and your action application will be Monday.com. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are the new user, click on this tab, sign up, it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in and as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as we do that, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. So here, what is my objective? My objective is to add items to monday.com with drop down menu using Pabli Connect. So let's say that I'm using a form builder application to receive the data. So here I have used JOT form and now every time I have received the data, what I want is with that data, I want to create an item on monday.com which is a project management software. So I'm going to click on create here. So as I do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application will be jot form. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it would be new response. So every time a new response is received through jot form submission, then automatically this workflow is going to run. Now here on the right hand side, you can see that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which basically means that this trigger application has got no polling time. Now here we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Jot form. So I'm going to copy this. Now I have already logged into my Jot form account. So here we have been given a help desk. Open your form in the form builder and click on the settings tab. Go to the integrations, search for webhook and paste the above URL in add webhook field. So what we have to do is let me take you to my Jot form account and I already have created a form. The name is monday.com task. Now you can create your own form by clicking on this orange tab. So I'm going to go to edit form. So as I go here, you can see this is the form that I have created and it has the following fields item name. Then we have the full name of the user email address. This is the task end date. This is the task end time. And then we have the current status. And here I have created a drop down. So I have got three options working on it done and stuck. So let's say that if I'm working on a task, if it is complete, then you have to select done. If you're working on it, then it is working on it. And if you have an issue, you can select stuck. Now we have to go to settings. And here we have to select integration, which is there on the left hand panel. Now we are going to look for webhook. So here it is. Now here we have to add the URL that we have just received. So I'm going to copy this, go back and here I'm going to paste the same. So once done, let's click on complete integration. And here you can see that the integration is ready. Let's click on finish. Now going back to Pabli Connect, it is saying that once you have added the webhook URL, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to take you back to JotForm. Let's go and preview the form. 
as we do that here you have received the link so I'm going to click on this it will open in a new tab let's give a name to the item so let's say it is task allotment now the name of the user is demo user email address is this what is the task end date let's say it is tomorrow which is 30th of March then what is the end time let's say it is 10 a.m. So I'm going to write 10 a.m. Now, what is the current status? As of now, we are working on it. Now, let's click on submit form. So here we can see that the form submission is successful. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's see if we have received the API response. And here it is. So this is the webhook URL. Here we have the username. Now, as I take you down, so this here is the current status. Then here we have got the time. Then we have the date. And here's the task name, then the email address and full name of the user. Now, once I have received this information, what do I want? I want to create an item in monday.com. So my next action application here would be monday.com. Let's click on this. Now comes the action event. So here the action event would be to create an item. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with monday.com account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. Now I already have logged into my monday.com account and we have to provide a token to set up this connection. Now, how can we get this token for this? This is the help desk given. So we have to log into our monday.com account. So this is my monday.com account. Now what is asked, it is asking me to click on the avatar in the bottom left corner. So this is it. Now we have to select admin from the resulting menu. So let's go to admin. Then it is saying that we have to go to the API section. So here is the API section. And now this is the personal API token. So I'm going to regenerate this. So regenerate token. And once we have regenerated, let's click on copy and go back to public connect and paste this over here. Now I'm going to click on save to set up this connection and here you can see that monday.com is now connected with Pabli Connect. Once this is done, so we have to map this information, the board, group, item name, etc. For this, first I'm going to take you back to monday.com and here let me take you to the board that I have created. So first of all, this is the main workspace. Now these are the various boards that I have created. And within these boards, I've got different tables. So you can create a new board or a table by clicking on this. So you can create a new board, new document, new dashboard, etc. Now here the name of this board is jot form task details. And I have given the following column fields item, full name, email address, end date and time and then we have a status and here I have given a drop down where I have got three options working on it, stuck and done. And how have I done that? So you have to click on add column and then you have the option of drop down. As you click on this, then you can provide different labels. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this. Okay, so once done, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to select the board. So what is the name of my board? It is dummy board and the name of the table is jot form task details. So first of all, this is dummy board. Okay. And now we have the group. It is jot form task details since there was only one group created there. So it has already been captured by the system. Now we have to map this information item name. How do I do that for this? I'll click on this and you can see the previous response. Let's click on this. And then as I take you down, here is the task name. Now the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. Mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written this manually, then even when my workflow was running for the nth time, it would have only taken the manually written data. So to avoid that mapping is important. Now comes the name, full name. So here you can see that I have got full name. So I'm just going to fill up this. So I'll click on this, go to step one and let's go down. This is the full name of the user, then the email address. So again, here is the email address of the user, then end date and time. So how do I write this? First of all, date. So the date here is month. Then I'll put a dash. Then again, I'll go and this is the day. Then I'll put a dash once again. And then I'm going to write year. Then I'll give a space for time. And then again, let's write the time. It is 10. And I'm going to put a colon 00. 
and then I'm going to put a space and write AM. Okay, once this is done, now comes the status. Now here you can see that as I click on this, we have the drop down. We have all the labels. But if I just click on any of it, so this is going to be a static information. So let's say that I have clicked working on it. So if I do this, then for all the workflows, this will be working on it only. So to avoid this, I am going to map this information. And before that, I'm going to put a lookup, which is a feature by Pabli. Let me show you. So I'm going to add another action step over here. And this time I'm going to choose a feature by Pavli, which is lookup table. Now here the action event would be lookup table. It gets matched data from lookup table fields by lookup key. So what we are going to do is we are going to provide keys to all the three labels that we have generated. So I'm going to click on connect and now the lookup key. So I'm going to go to step one and here is the current status. Now I'm going to write working on it this is our first label let's give it a value one now let's add on another label so let's say it is done so i'm going to give it a value two adding one more so here let's say it is stuck so i'm going to give it a value three okay so now as i click on save and send test request so you can see that the status is success and what is the label working on it and the value is one as per the data that we have received we are working on the task so we have received this now i'm going to map this number how do i do that so first of all i'm going to quickly refresh this connection by selecting the existing connection and now as i take you down so here i'm going to write the status label but there is a way to write it how you have to put big brackets then you have to put double inverted commas here i'm going to go to step two this is the result value double inverted commas closed bracket closed this is how you will write the status now why do i do this so that every time when the workflow is running and there's a different status that can be added on my sheet so now i'm going to click on save and send test request so here we have received the API response according to which now an item must be created on monday.com. Let's go and check the same. So this is my dummy board. And yes, here you can see task allotment. This is the name of the item. Full name is demo user. Then the email address is this. Let me show you. Okay. Then here we have the end date and time. And what is the status? It is working on it. So this basically means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to joke form and here I'm going to fill up another form. Let's say this time the item name is XYZ task. The full name is test new. The email address here is test new at pably Okay, then we have the task end date. Let's say the end date is 31st. And what is the time? So the time here is 12 p.m. Okay. Now what is the current status? Let's say that the current status is stuck. I'm going to submit the form. The form has been submitted. So if our integration is a success automatically, an item must be created on monday.com. Let's go to monday.com. And yes, here you can see XYZ task has been created. This means that we are through with our integration. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Jot Form, where the event is new response. Then our action application was monday.com where we had the event as create item. And also we had chosen a feature by Pabli, which is lookup table to provide values to different labels. And that is it. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.